Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to take a look and see what is your current love situation? What is happening in love for you? Keep in mind, this is general collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. We're gonna start with Aries. We'll go all the way through Pisces and I'll put the timestamps down below. All right, Aries, what's happening in your current love situation? Okay, are you working on your revenge body right now, Aries? Trying to look your best, focusing on yourself, trying to punish your ex? It does look like your ex is somebody who maybe um, was very selfish. They strung you along. They gave you a lot of false hope in the past. And because of that, you have activated self-care, self-love, self-respect, and now you're maybe going back to the gym, you're looking good, you're trying to birth a brand new you, you're building your body, you're building your mental health, and you're focused on that. You're no longer compromising to somebody who's selfish, and your situation is you're no longer wanting to be strung along, and you want equal give and take, or you're taking yourself elsewhere. So let's find out with the tarot what's going to happen here. Okay, so it does look like you did get to the point of realizing that it was too much pressure to try to figure your person out. It was too much. It burned you out. And you it looks like you cut your person off. The truth is that you realize your person was stringing you along. They were not giving you the feelings that you wanted and deserves. And now you're about to have this major glow up because you're focusing on yourself. You're looking good. You're feeling good. It does look like you are going far and wide with the self-love and the self-respect. We do have that queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. So you're, you're very handsome. You're very pretty. You're beautiful. You're definitely in an energy of not allowing anybody to tell you anything different than what you feel about yourself. So let's get some messages of what this ex that was in your current situation that you cut off, what are they thinking? What are they feeling? Aries. Okay, you could have been dealing with a Scorpio. And they are unhappy. So whatever revenge body you got going on over there is made this person not happy that you're glowing up. Okay, Aries. This is somebody who knows that they feel like you abandoned them because you did. You checked out and you left them. They miss your touch, Aries. So that is what I have for you, Aries. Let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, what is happening in your love life? Taurus. You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Taurus. What's happening in Taurus's love life? Taurus. Okay. Looks like there's some boundaries that have been enabled right now. You feel like you've been used and you've decided you're going to put up healthy boundaries. Maybe you have taken a vacation from a connection that you thought maybe was going to go the distance. You were communicating with somebody. You felt like you were maybe making more of the initiative than they were. It does look like it was maybe a lustful connection. Maybe you were sleeping with this person. Maybe it was friends with benefits. But then you got to the point of realizing that you're wasting your time and you were feeling used in the situation. You were expecting something more than what you got. And because of that, it looks like you did decide to distance yourself. You decided to break free from the connection. All right, let's see, Taurus. Yep, you were no longer fed the illusion. We got the tower at the bottom of the deck. So you definitely took control over the situation. You maybe had caught this person talking to somebody else on the phone when you were with them, and that might have been the, the triggering. They didn't know you overheard them on the phone with somebody. That might have been the triggering of realizing that you needed to put up healthy boundaries, that you were being used, that this person maybe was just taking advantage of the situation. Um, you may have felt like it was really traumatic, like you didn't expect it from this person but it does look like you realized you heard that phone call. It wasn't by accident, it was for a reason. So let's see this person that you've had to put boundaries in place away from Taurus. 
What are they thinking and feeling? Taurus's person, what are they thinking and feeling? I miss your touch. So yeah, this is definitely was a intimate, uh, lustful connection. Maybe friends with benefits. I'm not perfect. So this person knows that they need to take the accountability for communicating with somebody else. Especially if they did it when you were in their presence. Maybe they did it like right next in the room next to where you were or something. I think about you constantly. And I'm working on being a better person. So from whatever has happened, this person knows that they need to be a better person or they need to get better at being secretive about talking to other people. So, all right. Gemini. Gemini, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I have a 24 to 48-hour turnaround. All right, Gemini, what's happening in your current love situation, Gemini? What is happening for Gemini's current love situation? Were you engaged and you called the wedding off? You called the engagement off, Gemini? Yep. I see that there was some type, oh, there it is. The wedding in reverse came out. That's exactly what I was feeling. So it looks like you got in a fight or an argument with your person that was very dramatic. The tension got really high and you broke it off. You said, you know what, I'm done. You can have your ring back. I don't wanna be married. I don't wanna be engaged to anymore. And you broke down this connection. Does look like there was something that this person was holding back from you and you wanted them to step forward and fight for this connection. And they didn't. And it created a major dramatic moment for you, Gemini. So let's find out. Because you feel like this person was... Even though you were engaged to them, you've maybe felt disconnected from them. You felt like there was a withdrawn energy on their part where they weren't really coming to the table and making you feel a sense of security in the connection. Yeah. You definitely felt like... Do you have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck? So you were honestly thinking in that moment that this person was talking a lot of talk, but they weren't saying anything of relevance. They were kind of talking in circles and it was full of emptiness. And it looks like during that fight or that argument, you realized that there was a lack of growth. There was a lack of security in this connection that if you were gonna spend your life with this person and become their husband or become their wife, that this person was somebody of, of no substance. So it does look like you did get to the point where you didn't care what reputation it made you in. You didn't care on what people thought of your reputation of breaking up with this person or breaking the engagement with this person. Maybe you guys already booked the venue. You've already paid all the deposits. Um, but it does feel like you maybe told this person you either have to come and improve the situation or it's done. And they didn't do that. And at that point, it looks like you were triggered and you let it go. You felt like you had no other choice. You felt paralyzed by the situation that there was no other option but to end it. So let's find out, Gemini, how is this person feeling? This person in your love situation, they still love you and they still want you. How, do they, how does Gemini's person feel right now? I love your smile. Gemini. How does Gemini's person feel? I want to call and text you. I want to call and text you. Okay. Could be an Aries that you were engaged to. We do have Taurus energy out also. I think about you all the time. Do you miss us? And I know I messed up. Okay. Cancer. All right, Cancer, if you want your own personalized in depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Cancer, what's happening in your current love situation? Cancer. Give me one second here.
Okay. Sorry about that. All right, Cancer. What is your current love situation? What is Cancer's current love situation at this time? You want happiness overall, but you feel like a fool because somebody misled you. You expected somebody to give you a love offer and this person hasn't. And they, they haven't taken you seriously. They've been playing you games. They've been tricking you into false promises, maybe telling you things that you wanna hear. They've been misleading you and making you think that they're gonna be happy with you. The problem is, is this person's been very indecisive about change. We do have the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. This person is very much in a self-sabotaging energy where they don't really do things um, for other people. It's an energy of this person may like to entertain third parties, they like to entertain other people, non-committal energy. They are in a very deceptive energy and you just wanna be happy, you wanna feel good, but you feel like this person is somebody you were sincere expecting a offer of commitment and this person did not come through with it, it looks like. So it looks like you maybe have blocked them or you're finally asserting yourself not allowing them to tell you lies. So let's get some um, feelings of how Cancer's person is feeling at this time. What's Cancer's person thinking? You could be dealing with an Aries. A fire, water. This person had been indecisive for quite some time, it looks like. You maybe decided because they were unreliable. I miss your touch. I want to build a life with you. Maybe that's what they said to you. They want to build a home. They want to build a life. I miss your touch. I miss your touch. Cancer's person. Cancer's person. It wasn't my choice. So maybe you are the one who ended it. I want to apologize. And I am working on myself. Leo all right Leo if you want your own personalized in-depth reading my website's timelessdivinetarot.com I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround Leo what is Leo's current love situation what's happening in your love situation at this time Leo find out what's happening for Leo in love. Okay, somebody told you that they were open and receptive to a relationship, that they were financially sufficient, they were good, and it looks like you're, you're finding what your person has said to you to be a mysterious thing, like Mm, they say they have money, but they never want to go do anything. Or they say they want a relationship, but they don't really give you any emotions of security. Looks like this person is avoiding intimacy on an emotional level. They're also being very careful to not let you know that they don't have any money, Leo. So let's find out with the tarot for Leo's person. You know, Leo, this person does have somebody else. I don't know if you know that or not. They might even be married. This is somebody that they see you with your strength, your power, your attractiveness. Maybe you're financially secure. You're independent. Um, they see you as somebody very loyal and dedicated. But they are also at a crossroads because they are trying to live a lifestyle that they really don't have. What is the, um, the saying? Um... wine taste but living on a beer budget it's kind of like that this person alluded to that they had money and they were emotionally open but they don't have no money and they're not emotionally open and they also have somebody else tell me about that third party okay this is somebody um it might be somebody they work with somebody that is maybe around their same age it's somebody that they're maybe just friends with them but they're kind of seeing if it could turn into something so it looks like you maybe just don't trust this person, which rightfully you shouldn't. I think your intuition maybe is telling you that this person's not being fully honest. So let's get some messages of feelings for Leo's person. What are they feeling? 
Leo's person. Leo's person. This could be a newer person. Leo's person. Are you still available? So they might think that you're pursuing other options at this point. Maybe um, you're ambitiously determined to find other options, maybe. Um, please don't move on for me. Yeah, they definitely think you're moving on, Leo. Leo's person. Hold on, let me get some hands in it. My hands are very dry. The cards are not um, wanting to shuffle because my hands are very dry. So let me try this. All right, let's try this. Leo. Could be a Capricorn. We do have another Leo. We have air. We have earth. We have fire. You deserve better. Yeah, they know, Leo. They know that you are a diamond in the rough. You deserve better. I look at your social media. So whoever this is, they are looking at your socials. And I fear your rejection. So they know that you don't trust them. They fear you would reject them if you knew that they didn't have any money and they weren't emotionally available, but you've already caught on to it. So, all right, Virgo. All right, Virgo. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hours turnaround. around. All right, Virgo. What is your love situation, Virgo? What's going on for Virgo's love situation? Ooh, somebody is jealous of you, Virgo. Did you get engaged recently? And because you got engaged, one of your exes is super jealous. They're at a standstill. They're not taking action. They are holding back, but they're really pissed that you went and got engaged. They wanted you to themselves, and now they're jealous and insecure that you're giving your love to someone else, that you're going to potentially marry somebody else. Virgo. This person is trying to figure out if they were to come towards you, look at the Ten of Cups, if they were to come towards you and tell you the truth that they still love you, that they don't want you to be with somebody else, they want to, you to make the decision to marry them. They don't know if you would actually agree to that. They're not secure in knowing because you are already engaged with somebody else if you would potentially take them back. So we do have, um, this person is trying to let go of the fears that they have when it comes to the secret that they're super jealous. They want happily ever after with you. Yeah, they want you to, look at this, the death card and the world. They want you to end the cycle with the person you're engaged to if they come towards you. And they're waiting. They're waiting first to see if you will, if it will end with that person. And then they're going to come in at that point. All right, let's get some messages for Virgo's person. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? You are the love of my life. I don't know if you can see at the window. The sun is really bright. Virgo. Messages for Virgo's person. What's Virgo's person's? Please come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. That's what I'm hearing. And look at This is why they want you to come back. If I can get the card. It says marriage. They want to marry you. They don't want you to marry somebody else. They're super jealous of the idea of you actually marrying someone else. Virgo's person. I want to see you. One more. Virgo's person. I miss your touch. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, let's move on to Libra. All right, Libra. 
If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelesstobindtarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Libra, what is your current love situation, Libra? What is Libra's current love situation? Okay, we got engagement. Something is brewing in your love life. This is somebody that you have fought tooth and nail to make this work. This is somebody that maybe you were friends with or friends with benefits and you felt like you just couldn't move on from this person. You felt like um, you needed to work things out. Well, it looks like the two of you did establish to rebuild the trust in this connection. And whether you know this or not, this person is about to pop the question. They're about to ask you um, to take their hand in marriage. They're about to propose. And that's what is actually brewing at this time in your love life is that you're getting in gonna get a whether you choose to accept or not you're going to get a proposal after this hurt or this pain that you and this person have experienced together okay we're ready to make things official let's get some tarot for libra there it is the justice so it could be another libra the emperor this person wants to have babies with you they're fully dedicated they're all in they're getting out of their head with the eight of swords in reverse this is somebody honestly that they've learned the lesson that they're going to fight tooth and nail to have this connection with you they want to make things official their feelings are growing stronger and stronger it's getting closer and closer to the time for them to do this they're going to take the lead they're bringing in a sense of stability and security with this connection because they want to be able to grow old with you they're letting go of any fears and insecurities that they maybe were having. All right, let's get some messages of their feelings, Libra. What are they feeling? What's in their heart? What's in their soul? What's in their thoughts for Libra's person? I still feel the same. I promise to make things right. My heart only belongs to you. Okay, Libra. This could be a Le another Libra. We got Aries here. We are meant for each other. Yep, that's how they feel. They feel like you two are meant to be husband and wife, wife and wife, husband and husband, whatever your situation is. All right, Scorpio. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Scorpio, what's your current love situation? Scorpio, what is Scorpio's current love situation? You're, if you have not met this person, you're about to make, meet this person, you're about to have your first love um, in the workplace, work, love, romance. There's about to be an experience with somebody that you're gonna realize this person doesn't compare to anybody else that you've ever met. They're very different. They work really long hours, they work really hard, but they are somebody that things are gonna grow over time. I'm hearing better in time. So, judgment, could be a Libra. And we do have the moon in reverse, okay. So they're gonna uncover the secret. If you haven't met them yet, they're about to. We got the two of wands coming out too. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who is single, somebody who is very abundant, and they're making the decision when to speak up to you and tell you the secret that they like you. So this is somebody, you may feel this person um, at work, that you may feel that you're about to meet somebody, whether you're getting ready to start a new job or this is somebody that you already work with, this person's ready to invest in this connection. Let's see for Scorpio what their person's feelings are. What's in their heart, what's in their soul, what's in their mind for Scorpio's person? Scorpio. I have been sending you signs. Okay. Trying to learn to love myself. That's where this person is right now. They're loving on themselves right now, but they wanna love you. I'm scared to contact you. This is a casual connection. And my heart is broken without you. This is somebody who feels like you are supposed to be together, whether you've met them yet or not. This person knows that their person's out there and it's you. 
and they feel that their heart is breaking because they haven't been with their been with you or you are their person. All right, Sagittarius. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Sagittarius, what is your current love situation? Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius's love situation? Oh, habitual liar, bad intentions, vacation, forever change. Somebody's constantly lying to you. They feel like their lies have been explo ugh, exposed. As I was about to say, the tower wanted to come out. Um, there's been some red flags, lies and secrets. This could be you. This could be your person around you. Something has changed here. Let's clarify for Sagittarius. Okay, you have, we've got the Ace of Cups. This is a new person that maybe has lied to you. You maybe block this person. You put up your guard against this person because you realize that you had to make the quick decision. This person was a liar. And um, you maybe went towards this person thinking the grass was going to be greener versus somebody else from your past. And you realize the grass was not greener, it looks like. So let's find out this person that Sagittarius blocked or is pushing away. What is in their thoughts? What's in their feelings? What are they thinking? Okay, so this was a casual connection. This was not somebody you were in a relationship with. They are too scared to contact you. Maybe you called them out on their lies. They are trying to learn to love themselves. And I am stuck in my thoughts. So this is somebody who is thinking a lot about what you said, the, the exposure of the lies. Either you lied to them or they lied to you. Take it as it resonates. Roles can be reversed in these readings. Capricorn. You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Capricorn. What is Capricorn's current love situation? Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. I'm hearing round and round, round and round. All right, so something um, with you and this person has been a repetitive cycle. You're supposed to be progressing and learning lessons. And this is a newer connection, but you're not seeing the potential of the connection because you've been playing games or they've been playing games. Um, somebody's not being serious and learning the lessons, but you guys have the potential to be a power couple if one or both of you actually step out of this um, careless energy and get into a more mature energy. Yeah, you need, both need to regain a little bit of composure here in this situation. Do you have the nine of wands? So one or both of you has needing to learn the lesson of past failure to relationships of why they failed in the past and trying to gain your strength to not repeat the cycle. And that's what this connection is supposed to be learned for you and your person, but neither one of you is budging. So you kind of are stuck in the same envious um, game loop here. So let's find out for Capricorn, what is their person thinking? What are they feeling? What's in their heart? What's in their soul? Let's get some messages for Capricorn's person. I didn't plan to fall in love with you. Okay. Let's see, the chemistry is insane between us. Capricorn. I have been sending you signs. Capricorn's person. I dream about you. I am waiting on you. This connection is intense. Two more. I can't take back what I said and I was wrong. So you have a lot of what your person's thinking and feeling. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius, 
you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround Aquarius. What is your current love situation Aquarius? Okay, so are you kind of feeling stuck? Maybe you're recently divorced. You um, have ended a marriage. You are maybe trying to date, but it seems like all of the connections, the communication that you have been entertaining have really just all been surface level. They don't really come to anything of value. Yeah, it looks like you got a lot of choices and options here, but... It, these choices and options maybe are expecting more from you than what they're actually able to give you. And because of that, it's causing you to get into the mindset of, I, I don't want to, I don't want to date. It's kind of paralyzing you. It looks like a little bit. So if you have been dating recently divorced and you're dating and you're making the decisions that you want to get back out there quickly, you don't want to wait. Well, it does look like, um, the choices and decisions you're making is going towards connections that don't really have any substance. They're all surface level. So let's find out what are the thoughts or feelings of maybe your ex or some of these people that you're cutting off quickly. I dream about you. So if you're the one who filed for divorce or divorced your spouse and now you're going back out there, your, your ex could be still dreaming about you, Aquarius. We are meant for each other, okay? I'm scared you will reject me. I was wrong. Aquarius. I messed up. The time apart is only temporary. So this is somebody who feels like the two of you will come back together or you will get back together, it looks like. But it feels like you released this person. You've let this person go. Okay, Pisces. Pisces. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Pisces, what is your current love situation? Pisces. Pisces. What's Pisces' current love situation? I'm hearing that song, Stand By Me. Twin flame. So you could be in a twin flame situation. You feel the intensity and the soul connection with this person. You want to make it work, but your person's not seeing things for what they are. They keep lying to themselves that the two of you are soulmates or that you are twin flames. You just want your person to come to the table and try to work this out, but your person is not. They're not seeing clearly. They could have substances or vices that are um, clotting their, their, the, the truth of their um, thoughts. Yeah, they're not listening to their intuition. This is somebody who they lack the confidence to understand even what a twin flame or soulmate is. It feels like your person um, doesn't believe in that type of stuff, but they do know that you are somebody that has some sense of control in their life. And it's because of the, the soul tie, but your person doesn't believe in that. So they don't think that it's real, but they know it. They feel it intuitively, but they're trying to ignore their intuition about the connection, Pisces. So let's get some thoughts, feelings. What's your person thinking or feeling? What's in their heart? What's in their soul? What's in their mind? I've been sending you signs. So this is somebody who has been sending you signs. I look at your pictures often. I want to give you everything. You are my world. I was a fool, I am sorry. I was being selfish. Give me time to heal and give me time, yeah. 
This might be a repeated cycle that you and your person has been through that they keep asking for more time, but the time is not shifting or changing because they're not listening to their intuition about the internal work for the two of you to come into alignment.